<laughs> it's good to see y'all, man. Hey, where's his jacket? Hey, have you seen my jacket? Have you seen my jacket, bro? I need my jacket, bro. I'm doing the fucking show. I gotta go. Hey, y'all see my jacket? Uh, no. Fuck. Hey, bro. Hey, you see my jacket? Yeah. No. Okay, okay. Hey. My bad. Yo. Have you seen my jacket? No. Fuck. No. No. No, that's far. I just... What the fuck? Alright, alright, alright. I got the jacket. I got the jacket. Hey, we good, we good, we good, we good. Hey, we good. I got it, I got it. We good, we good. Hey, hey, hey I got it, I got it. Clap, everyone fucking clap. Come on, come on. Welcome to the late night. I'm the host, Rex from Vegas, and I'm here on behalf of Photo Culture. That's my I'm fucking crazy, Welcome everybody. To the late, late, Welcome to the late night. I'm your host, Rex from Vegas, and I'm here on behalf of For The Culture. Last month, we were blessed with a crazy lineup of performers, all the way from Izzy to Saucy Downs. I do want to say thank you to each and every one of you that watched it, liked it, subscribed it, bought a t-shirt, just looked out for the culture of the city. It's really dope, and we appreciate it. Tonight, you guys are blessed with the first ever late night debut of a full band for the first ever late night debut i bring you maddie jake and lyle my good friends but you know them as high sierra club right Whoa. now yeah hold on hold on hold on this ain't high sierra club let's try this again what's up y'all we're high sierra club welcome to the late show with rex we're gonna play a brand new song i know you hate it alone we just wrote it a week ago played it twice and here we are Some nights I wanna put out the fire I wanna ask you why Cause I know that you're tired You've burned a lot of energy with the late night with Rex. High Sierra Club just killed their set. I'm lucky enough to sit down with Maddie, Jake, and Lyle, the rock stars of the band. Thank you guys so much again for being here, man. It means a lot. 
Thanks for having us, man. Yo, absolutely. Uh, by the way, your beard's looking pretty good. Oh, so. thank you, man. I should have cool. gone to the barber, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but, um, yo, no, it's really dope to actually be here. Like I said in the monologue, I was able to see your first ever set. We've been pretty good friends since then. I've known you guys pretty well. Um, I really wanted to know if you guys would tell the audience the story of how you guys met. That's like one of my favorite High Sierra Club stories. It's actually one of our favorite stories, too. So, essentially... First things first, Twitter changed the algorithm. Let's start with that. So instead of a retweet, you see a post on a like. So when a Matt's post comes up and he's playing guitar, you know, someone likes it, it pops up. It's like, okay, so I click on it, I listen to it, and it's pretty good. So I, I shoot him a DM, you know how you do, and uh, you know, said I like it, and you know, we should jam sometime. So he hit me up a couple weeks later, and it turns out he lived in Utah at the time, about you know, a couple hours away. So you know, we weren't able to get together. So fast forward about eight months later and he messages me and says, hey, do you still play music? You know, guitar, you want to jam? And I'm like, yeah, I'm down. So he's like, I actually am back in Vegas now. So he shoots me his address and it turns out it's only five minutes away. Just right up the block. So We're neighbors, yeah. you guys are like best friends. <laughs> yeah, essentially. So, you know, we just started right off like that. And then I, you know, went over to his house. So how they met's a little, you know, right after that, essentially. What's up? My name is Matt. Welcome to the show. I'm high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Anyways, but we did meet on Twitter, Anyways. which was wild. Yeah. Actually, uh, what was it? We both followed one girl who neither one of us have actually met in real life, but she's post, she's pretty, so we follow her. <laughs> and then she liked one of my, she retweeted it too. So um, that's how we met, through some girl we've never met. Wow. Power of the internet, man. That's yeah. wild. Yeah, and then me and Lyle, me and Lyle met on I put an ad on Guitar Center's message board. I literally pinned a handwritten ad, like Whoa. high level. I was like, I'm mm -hmm. looking, for, looking for people my height. Put it right here. He <laughs> sees it, texts me. We jam once. Dude. Here we are. Bro, that's crazy. Like literally like kiss. Like that's like one of those old school rock star yeah. stories, man. Yeah, it was wild, honestly. I wasn't expecting it to work out so well. Like he walked in and we just clicked. We played it like one riff, one beat together and we were in. Wow. I was like, that was dope. Let's play it again. We wrote a second part. Like, we had half a song written in 20 minutes, which was dope. Is that one of the High Sierra songs we know now? No. I accidentally ripped yeah. it off of a band I was listening to and found out later. I was like, well, we can't use that. <laughs> we'll use something else. Yeah. yeah. Now we have 20 something ideas, so that's Our music awesome. coming. So, you guys have like a really diverse sound, really diverse styles. Um, would you guys say there's like any specific influences that brought you to where you are today? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely, man. Um, I mean, first of all, like, I love 311. Right off the bat, it's my favorite okay. band. Um, I can, like, Jake loves Hail the Sun, you know, obviously. Um, he's just, the way his style plays, I mean, it's just, like, super technical, and it's just, it's great, you know. Um, and Matt, he loves um, the story so far, you know, okay. all that punk stuff. He's the punk aficionado. and yeah. this, uh, <laughs> So go to him if you want to know that, you know, obviously. <laughs> um, but, yeah, dude, like, we try to be eclectic as possible. You know, we don't want to be able to, like, fit in one box, like, right off the bat, you know, like... Um, and that, and that to me is like stands out as unique. So. That's huge, man. I was lucky enough to see like your first ever show, dudes. But like, where are the like your favorite spots you've played in the past? Oh, you know, it's funny, dude. Like, um, I mean, there's, uh, gold spike. there's, yeah, right. no. gold, yeah, gold spike, gold spike. Yeah, that's where you saw us. Yeah, yeah that was the yeah. first one. Shouts out to uh, Sal and Asia yeah. Jade. They're Shouts so out. dope. Oh, they're great. Yeah, shouts out to them. They're awesome people for sure. They've helped us like tremendously for sure. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, obviously, gold spikes one, the jam, which is like not far from here. Yeah, right down the road. You know, yeah, we've we've jammed there too. You know? Yeah, classic. Um, the local yeah. scene's pretty like strong here. I feel like so we just want to make it stronger, obviously. That's huge, man. You guys are really for the culture. Yeah. That's incredible. I love that. So you guys have dropped one EP so far. What can we expect in the future from High Sierra Club? Well, another EP, you know, okay. another EP, <laughs> another EP, <laughs> and another. an album, essentially. You yeah, know. absolutely. Uh, you know, so we're working on music like everyone else, trying to just keep our mental state in the best, trying to write during quarantine, you know, yeah. not a lot of like things to look forward at this moment uh you know but we're doing it you know writing ep and <clears throat> albums yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i love that i, was even thinking, I didn't catch that <laughs> i was even thinking we could just release like a bunch of singles like to lead up to an ep okay uh, what we just played we're gonna release soon i don't know where we're going to we might start on Bandcamp just for the sake of um if we could run some kind of 
fundraiser through it. Yeah. You, can, you can name your price for it. So we'll just match Bandcamp's waiver or whatever they take from it ourselves, and then we could, you know, donate it to somewhere. That'd, That'd be, be awesome. cool. Absolutely. Um, that's still in the works. So we might do it. I think we should, honestly. Yeah. And then we'll just release it on Spotify later and everywhere else. But it's the first thing we've actually recorded and tracked and mixed ourselves. Like just us three, we did all the work right in our living room. Wow. So there's that. Hey, that's yeah. rock and roll. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> yeah, well, we're gonna do it for the next songs too. Let me know when you guys do that. I'll let everyone know on the show. Stay tuned. Keep your uh, eye out for High Sierra Club's new EP exclusively on Bandcamp. So they can donate to a good cause, bro. Let's see. Gentlemen, it was a honor and pleasure to have you here debuting as the first band ever on the late night with Rex. Thanks so much, Yo. Rex. Yeah, that's dope, yeah. man. Thank you so much. Once again, this is Maddie, Jake, and Lyle, the rock stars of High Sierra Club. Really I'm the host. Rex from Vegas, and you guys just watched The Late Night with Rex. Thank you, thank you. Perfect. Welcome to the late, 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 late